Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today we're really excited to bring to you a really cool video. We're going to be testing out the Cleveland Halo Launcher Hybrid. Just got this one in in a two, it's basically a two hybrid, 16 degrees. And what I got this club for was to replace my three woods. I'm looking forward to testing it out. I'll do a quick review on it. We're also going to bring in Danny to hit some shots with the 16 degree hybrid versus a three wood and see which one's easier to hit and which one gets us a longer distance. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back as always. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf simulators, golf technology, and info on pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And before we get started with our video as usual, remember if you have any questions on any golf simulator items or any golf equipment items, reach out to me first please at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. I wanna be your go-to person to answer any of your questions. Also, check out our landing page at www.rainorshinegolf backslash garage golf. So if you want to help support our channel, this is how you do it. We provide links for you on certain products and things that you may be looking for already. And if you use our links, it helps out our channel at no additional cost to you. Of course, we're here anytime with any questions, anytime, roll in at mygaragegolf.com. But that's how you help support our channel. And we want to be your go-to person for any questions that you have with any golf simulator or golf product needs. All right, now with all that aside, let's go ahead and jump right into the review. So I just got this in and I was looking forward to testing it. Um, so what I'm using this for, particularly for my horrible golf needs at home, is I cannot hit a three wood to save my life. So that's just already out of the bag. I've tried every type of three wood that I, could, I can basically imagine. And I've had all kinds of issues with a three wood. I can, however, hit a hybrid for the most part. So I wanted to find something. Here's, my, here's the parameters that I was looking for. I was looking for a two degree hybrid, something anywhere between 16 to 17 degrees aloft. I have a 19 degree hybrid and I have a 22 and a half degree five iron that I can hit quite well, about 180 yards on average. So my hybrid, I can hit about 210, uh, maybe well, actually about 200. And I'm looking for something, hopefully they can get me in that maybe 210 to 215 range, which is what I was going for. So number one, I was looking for something that would be in the 16, 17 degree range. Number two is I didn't want to spend a ton of money. Um, this Cleveland Halo Launcher, it's been out for a little bit. Um, so I got this one from the Golf Warehouse for $199, which isn't a bad price for a hybrid. It's still brand new in the plastic, as you can tell. So I'm looking forward to removing that and getting a chance to test it out. It's a little bit of a larger face hybrid as well. Um, the other parameter I was looking for was a lighter shaft. So for me, I right now I use a Cobra Amcel 19 degree. So Amcels, they've been around forever. Uh, and that's about a 60 gram shaft. So this is pretty, that's a 58 gram shaft. This is a 60, I believe. And the third parameter is I was looking for something that wasn't too, too long. So one of the issues I have with hitting a three wood is the length of it. So this hybrid is a 40.75 inch shaft. So, and it is a Miyakazi 60 gram shaft. So, and it's a stiff shaft. So I'm looking forward to testing it out. I'm gonna remove it from the plastic. I'll show you a little bit more of the features that it has as well. Um, it has some glide rails. I'm going to show that to you once I take this plastic off. We'll hit some shots. Then we'll bring in Danny to hit some shots. Someone who's a little bit more of a consistent striker. I'd like to see side by side. Let's say you can hit both a three wood and a hybrid. Which one are you going to hit more consistent and which one are you going to hit further? So we're going to get Danny to come in, take some shots for us with both of these. Uh, not that Danny is a phenomenal golfer, but he strikes the ball a little bit better than I do. So we're going to get some good testing for you guys. See if we can answer any of your questions at home. All right, so one of my favorite parts is removing the plastic from the club. Now, with the Golf Warehouse, let me remove this for you real quick. All right, so there you take a look at the club. And here you see the guide rails. This is supposed to help you get through the rough a little bit easier and keep your club square at impact. So that's one of the cool things I'm looking forward to testing out. I haven't had a new hybrid since I got my amp cell. And again, that was probably five years ago. So I'm looking to try out some new hybrid technologies as well. It also has a high bore shaft, a little bit lower center of gravity. So this thing's supposed to be able to hit clubs, uh, hit balls and get the ball up in the air a bit. Uh, but overall, pretty cool. It's like a matte black finish on the front. 
And again, you got the guide rails on the bottom. Pretty cool shaft, has a Lampkin 360 degree grip. So what I'm looking to do is I wanna take some shots for you guys, um, see how I hit this right out, right out of the box, basically I just got it in. Um, we'll take some shots and then we'll bring in Danny to go ahead and give us some data with, versus the three wood and see what we think at home. So I'll hit some shots for you guys now. Again, I'm gonna warm up a bit and come back, hit some shots for you. Uh, I'm hoping that I can hit this pretty decent, but we'll take a look. With the Golf Warehouse where I ordered this from, there is a 30 day return policy. So if I can't hit it for any reason, it's going back. You know, it's not the close fault probably, it's my fault, but there's no need for me to pay for something that I can't hit. So I'm gonna be able to test this out on a regular basis for about the next two weeks or so, see what I think about it, and I'll keep you guys informed whether something that stays in the bag or not. Let's go ahead and get started with some shots. And also I am testing out a new camera, which is the DJI Pocket 2. So I'm gonna actually turn the lights off. I'm gonna have one light right above me here because I want you guys to tell me what you think about the screen quality behind me because I think I'm getting close to a setup where I don't have to use the green screen anymore. But I'd like your feedback at home to let me know what your thoughts are on the screen quality and the lighting here once we kick off these lights. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, so I'm checking it out on my phone actually, which is cool because I can actually see the connection on my phone as well. And it looks like that screen behind me looks pretty darn clear. So. Let me know your thoughts. Again, we're going to start taking some shots now. I'll be using E6 Connect with the uh, Unicore IXO today and see what kind of data we get. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll take about 10 shots and we'll see what kind of numbers I get with this hybrid once I warm up here a bit. All right, so I've been warming up a bit and what you see now is pretty much my exact setup when I'm not making videos, but because of the camera upgrade, I'm able to kind of show you a little bit more. So I have this LED light here, which is a magnetic rechargeable LED light that I keep on top of my SkyTrack case. That way I'm able to keep it dark in here, have a nice screen brightness behind me and still be able to see my golf ball. So if you have questions on the light, I put it in the video description below. I don't have any affiliation with the light or anything like that, but if you'd like it, it's a really good product. So make sure to check it out if you have any questions on what I use. All right, so I'm seeing close to a 200 yard carry, which is exactly what I want. With my 19 degree, I get about a 185 to 190 carry. So I just hit down with about 219, which is perfect because I don't have a club in the bag right now that I can consistently hit about 220. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using only good solid strikes. I'll take out any duffs, any chunks, of course. I'll be averaging about 10 shots, see how we do with it. If it's just a minor misstrike, I'm gonna include it. But if it's a major misstrike, I'll definitely take it out as well. So overall, I'm really loving the feel of this Halo Hybrid from Cleveland. Um, it's definitely a lot lighter than what I'm used to, and I'll show you after the video what I'm used to, but it's really, really easy to hit. It's consistent and it's forgiving, which I totally like as well. What I was looking for was a club that's going to allow me to hit about 220 on average. So with rollout, without rollout, um, I'd ideally like to carry a 220, but I guess this me and working on my swing. Uh, but I'm carrying it about 200 and I'm just going to be straight honest with you. There's times where I struggle to hit my driver 240, 245. So for me to hit a hybrid off the ground, you know, 200 yards and have a total rollout up to 220 and me being able to kind of control that a little bit more when I'm struggling with the driver, I'll take that all day long. So I'm really, really excited about it. Um, we'll consider this the review portion of this video and overall, I couldn't give it high enough praise. I mean, there's several other hybrids out there that I looked at, uh, really very slim choices in a 16 degree hybrid. And whether or not a 16 degree is ideal for me or not, you know, that's, we'll just leave that for another time. I don't have really, really high swing seed, but I didn't want a 17 degree. I thought it was too close to what I had with my 19. And I want a little bit of room to work on, you know, my swing speed and getting this thing more consistent, but it's very, very easy to hit. Before I was using this, let me show you what I was using. 
I picked this up in Florida at a, uh, basically at, at a small little golf shop. Let me turn the lights on for you. This is what I was using. It's the Adams Pro 16 degree with an 80, with an 86 gram sh uh, shaft. So this thing's like swinging a piece of lumber, basically not too forgiving overall, but, um, I could not hit this club. I got it cause it was like 50 bucks. Right. And I was like, okay, I want something like the, like this that'll fit in my bag. And you know, it's pretty much even a little bit bigger side by side than the Cleveland halo launcher. But if you miss this thing, I mean, it's just completely hard to square up altogether. So this one's not going in the bag anymore. This one will be going in the bag for sure. Let me turn the lights back off. So very, very happy with the numbers. If I can consistently roll out or even carry this close to 200 with a 220 rollout, I'll take that all day long. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring Danny in here. We're going to have him hit some shots. We'll have him take several shots with this hybrid and with a 15 degree three wood. I think he has an RBZ, which I passed down to him when I couldn't hit uh, that three wood, basically 15 degree three wood RBZ. So he'll hit both of those side by side. We'll take some shots. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit shorter shaft than a three wood would be. Um, but I'm curious to see consistency wise, which one does he get a better dispersion on? And also distance. How far of a distance are we going to be looking at between a 16 degree hybrid and a 15 degree three wood for anybody out there that may be considering hybrid versus three wood in your bag? And for people like me that struggle with a three wood, this hybrid is the way to go for me. So I'm very, very happy with the Cleveland Halo launcher hybrid and i'm looking forward to continuing to use that showing it out on the golf course let's bring danny in now and see how he does side by side with those two clubs all right so you see we got danny here now we're going to be hitting the hybrid the two hybrid and we're also going to be hitting the three wood so you have you stretched yourself out here not your t-shirt but oh here. no yeah. all right so we'll be testing this out danny will be hitting 10 shots with the hybrid and 10 shots with the three wood we're going to take only the best shots and we'll take out all of his horrible duffs and everything that he'll be doing, obviously. And then we'll show you the data at the end to see which club, now which club do you think is going to do better? Two hybrid or three wood? Which one I mean, do you think is going to go further, first of all? I think the wood's going to go further. Okay. And we'll obviously the hybrid being a little easier to hit because it's shorter and more compact. Okay. So let's see. We'll see what our thoughts are after the video's done. And uh, we'll see how we do distance wise between that two hybrid and the three wood, which is a 15 degree. Hybrid is a 16 degree, so we'll see how we do on this video. All right, so I'm about halfway through, and my initial thoughts are left and right and left and right. Uh, it's hard to really control the three-wood, but when I'm making contact and hitting it, it feels good. It's, it seems to be carrying around the 230 to 240 range when I hit it well. It doesn't seem too challenging, per se, but I have a feeling the hybrid might feel a little easier, um, and we'll, we'll go from there. But right now, it seems to be doing all right. We'll continue on and see what we get. All right, so I'm about done with my hybrid shots. Uh, I'm actually really pleased on what I'm seeing with it. Um, it feels good, uh, it looks good. Um, I will have to say that- How good well, does it feel? It feels like spreading delicious jam over a nice toast. <laughs> Buttery biscuit. <laughs> hey, how come I can't do the high speed swing testing? That's why. Go sit down. Damn it. Just play with the computer and let me do the work. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna hit a few more shots and we'll come at you with the numbers. Yo.
All right, so let's check out Danny's numbers. I'm gonna show you here behind me on the screen since we have this nice camera set up. You can actually see the screen now. I'll walk you through it, do my weatherman impersonation again. All right, so on the top, we have the TaylorMade RBZ3 wood. And on the bottom, we have the Cleveland Halo launcher. So let's look at carry distance, 233. These are the average shots. As again, this is out of 10 shots, 10 solid shots for each club. 233 on average with carry distance with the three wood. 232.1 carry distance with the Cleveland Halo Launcher Hybrid. Total distance, 249.2, 243.7. So this number I'm really impressed with for something that, again, the hybrid is a 16 degree, the three wood is a 15 degree. So we're carrying that ball, we, I mean Danny, not me obviously, but uh, we're carrying that ball pretty much consistent between the two clubs, uh, one being a little easier to hit, obviously. Total distance because of loft being slightly lower with the three wood and the shaft being a little bit longer, we're also getting a little bit more distance with that three wood. Um, side is 6.1 with a hybrid, 8.8 .8 with to the right with the three wood. So we're hitting more of a draw with a hybrid, a little bit more of a fade with the three wood. Smash factor, I didn't have the club tape on this club because it's still brand new. So we're not going to get a lot of club data. Ball speed 145.1 versus 147.6. So we're swinging the actual hybrid faster, which is good. Backspin 3122 and 3761 with a hybrid. So this is where we lose a little bit of distance with a hybrid, uh, but that's okay. We're looking at side spin numbers. Launch angle 11.7 with a three wood, 11.2 with a hybrid. So little surprise that we get the three wood a little bit higher up in the air with a lower loft. So that's a little bit surprising, uh, but we didn't get that hybrid as high on the launch angle anyways. Uh, descent angle 38.1 versus 40.5, apex 89 and 94, so the hybrid's getting up about five higher there. Flight time 6.4 with a three wood and 6.6 .6 with the hybrid. So overall, and I think Danny would probably agree with me on this, is we're really impressed with this hybrid. And the whole question of this whole thing has been, if a three wood is so hard to hit, why not replace it with a two hybrid? And that's why I basically bought this club for me and that's so I could hit something a little bit easier and get it off the ground. I, I tend to duff the three wood a lot and I have a lot of issues getting it hit consistent. So that's what we were looking at when we were looking for this Cleveland Halo Launcher Hybrid. And I'm really, really impressed with it. So overall it competes against a three wood. It's easier to hit, gets the ball up in the air um, and we're really, really happy with it. So if it's something that you guys have considered at home, consider replacing that three wood with a two hybrid or something around a similar loft. I don't think you can go wrong with it. All right, so that's our video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Danny, what did you end up thinking about your shots? Well, uh, it makes me want to go get a two hybrid. Uh, really, the three wood that I have, I hit it. I hit it okay, uh, but it's not consistent. With the hybrid, it was a lot easier to hit. I don't know if it's just the way it looks and the feel of it, but it feels more like an iron swing, and that kind of helps me out instead of having to have a wood style swing to it as well. Yeah, plus you got this aerodynamic shirt on, a designer shirt hour, I didn't know. Hey man, Simon so Call called and he said he wants a shirt back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? It's fine. It's all for you, the viewers. <laughs> well, we had a great time doing this video. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, as always, don't forget, if you're interested in building a golf simulator like you see behind me, reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf, MyGarageGolf.com. And if you have not yet done so, check out our landing page at www.rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf. Join our Facebook group down there. And that's where we communicate with you at home, answer any of all of your questions that you guys may have. So we really appreciate it. If you liked our video, what do you, you got to remember what to do. You give us a big thumbs up. Greatly appreciate that. And again, if you have not yet done so, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification for more videos like what you saw here today. Danny, any final thoughts? Besides your shirt? The shirt's great. The club's better. <laughs> Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Till the next time, as always, keep on golfing. Thanks again.